So I, I'm going to talk about the simulator that I wrote for AAP, the architecture Ed was talking about earlier. Now, for a bit of context, anybody who um, has done enough backend stuff will recognize sort of the table gen language, which is how we define instructions in LLVM. You define fields, you basically map input bits to output bits, and through a series of classes, you eventually build up a set of instructions, registers, etc. And this builds your instruction selection DAG and an encoder and a, dis and a disassembler, amongst other things, scheduling information, that sort of thing. Now, where I, I um, as people who've known me before, I like using table gen for weird things, such as generating SSH config. But um, one thing we needed for AAP is a simulator. And this was very early on in the project. We haven't decided on the instruction set yet. And I just want to have a feel for how the architecture is. And I quite like the idea of you change one thing and it regenerates everything. And I figured that the biggest piece in a um, simulator I need is the disassembler. Well, LLVM's already generated that for me, so why don't I use this as the starting point of a simulator? Um, as a nice side effect, we have a really, really, really well-tested disassembler because unlike most things that just need things to print out properly, our disassembler needs to work. Um, so the way that um, we start with our um, simulator, unsurprisingly, is we define some registers, some memories, and a few um, internal flags. AAP um, only has one flag for um, basically doing uh, arbitrary precision adds, so we don't have like zero bit negative bits. We only have this overflow flag. Now, for this simulator, what I basically did was I took the guts of LLVM objump and I stripped out the assembly printing routine and basically went, um, so the structure is basically give me the instruction, print it. And I've adapted that to give me an instruction. If this is a valid instruction, try and execute it. Um, which is sort of what I have here. This is essentially the same code as you would find in Objump. And um, basically, as soon as I um, find a bug, we'll stop. So I take that and then, uh, which is quite easy, I can just you know change a few lines. Now, the only thing I really need to implement is an execute function. Well, LLVM uh, has this nice container, MC ints, which has an opcode field, so one massive switch statement later covering all my instructions. And now I have some sort of simulator. So for my example here, I have my add instruction. The first operand, I get that, the value of that register. The second operand, I get that, add them, set it back, do some tests for overflow. And I have my add instruction, repeat for them all, and everything's good. Um, I take the uh, program counter here because for jumps, I may not necessarily want the next instruction. I may want to go somewhere else in my program. Um, now, the way we've designed AAP is to be nice for simulation. Um, we're doing the same similar sort of thing that OpenRisk does, where its knock instruction takes a register and an immediate. And what we use that is certain immediate values in the knock instruction in the simulator do specific things. So for instance, um, knock two is a signal to quit. Knock three is print the value as whatever is in this register as a chart of the screen. And we have things for standard out, standard error, standard in, things like that. And you complete all of that and, oh, right, yes. And then I have a simulator. Now I want to take this further. I mean, TableGen has much more information. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, we have all this selection DAG information. Can I use that, run it backwards, and build the execution patterns for my simulator? Or can I use scheduling information to create a pipeline simulator? I'm also interested in anyone who thinks this is generally useful for LLVM. Because otherwise we just have this sort of weird library in our um, target. And then I'll end with a demo to show this thing works. So we have a nice, pro uh, aha, wrong screen. <laughs> That's the right way. No, which way am I dragging this under? So, you can see something here. I've, I've cheated a little bit. I've added just a array print knock for this demo. If you want proof that it's real, I can. And all of a sudden, you can see all the registers and reads, and somewhere in there, you'll occasionally see an instruction in the table printout. And that is a very small simulator in LLVM. 
took about a day. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>